you guys are watching this video, I'm gonna tell you briefly what I'm about to do. Uh, I'm in Tewksbury right now, I'm about to leave my shop. I have some bags worked up with some gloves, socks, some snacks, tuna, uh, Gatorade, crackers. I'm gonna go give them to anyone panhandling on the corner, on the side of the road or whatever. But that's not it. I'm also gonna ask them if they want a job, if they wanna get off the streets, so. If you guys are new to my channel, welcome. Hit that subscribe button. I haven't really had many people take me up on my offer, but we're gonna see what we can accomplish today. These are my business cards. I'm just changing the last four of my phone number because I wanna give them my personal and hopefully they call and accept the job, changing lives one person at a time. Hopefully we run into Jose. Hopefully you guys know who Jose is. And I also have, sorry, I can't multitask. I also have blankets here. All right, let's head out of here. We're gonna head towards Lowell right now from Tewksbury. You guys want a little background about me if you're new to my channel? So my name is Victor and I come from a normal average family. And I was young, dumb, stupid. I dropped out of high school. High school just wasn't for me. I started smoking weed. I started selling drugs. I started doing drugs. During that time, I started a landscaping company, but then I ended up getting caught. So I was out on bail for like three years fighting my case. Stupid me, I went back doing the same thing that I did and I got caught a second time while I was out on bail. So, what happened next, they said, all right, let's lock him up, throw away the key. And they sure did. I did just under two years in state prison. Um, I'm thankful for my family's support. But being in prison just really made me think about life. Life is, is precious, extremely precious. So I came out with a good head on my shoulders and I said, let's let's crush it, let's kill it. I met my fiance, blah, 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 have two kids. And I now wanna continuously help people. I don't wanna stop doing it. I have my landscaping company. I built it to a, a great level where my guys can run the company with me still there, but I don't need to do much very thankful for that I have great employees that's where the good boss name originated from I take care of my employees like they're my family they are my family I, I treat them like they're my family and I seen homeless people on the side of the road panhandling asking for money so I'm like why not ask them if they want a job get off your ass and work some people they make a living most people make a living so unfortunately it's very hard to get people but I do this every day as much as I can or every other day. Whenever I can, I do this. And I guess long story short, I found someone, young kid my age, his name's Kevin. He accepted my offer and he's now clean. We put him through treatment and you can watch his stories too. Just scroll through my videos. But now and so basically from there, started a nonprofit. Meeting Kevin really just determined me, you know, I wanna help more people. So I started a nonprofit. If anyone is able to donate, please click the link in my bio or just go to thegoodproject.us. Um, so we now, full-time, I have a team, full-time, we help people get into treatment, get into rehab. More importantly, we stick by their side for forever as long as they're doing well that's our guarantee to them we'll stick by their side we help them financially emotionally as much as we can the right way we don't just hand them money and say here you go so that's a little rundown of what i do and what we started and we're not going to give up so we're almost in lowell right now i'm going to see if i can find a couple people on the side of the road that either just want bags with stuff in them or want a career change or want a life change. 
So, come with me. Alright, so we're now in Lowell. This is one corner where people usually hang out, but no one's here. It's crazy, people have their own designated spots, just like Kevin. Kevin had his corner where I always seen him, and then if someone leaves that corner, someone else will take it over. It's Gambit and it's Jose, I think. That's sad. Alright, so right up over here is what I call the main drag, where you know, there's like five corners where people can just kind of sit at. So we'll see who's up here. here right now. Up, bro how you doing how was that bag the other day you want another one yeah please there you go man all right man be safe i'll see you hey, what the dude laying down oh he's fucked up huh i don't know all right he's kind of elderly so elderly yeah all right all right i'll turn around now all right bro all right be safe all right, man, I'll see you. All right, this guy's laying down over here. It's probably Ronnie. What's up, man? Are you okay? You sure? All right, just checking in on you. Can I get you anything? What about like a bag with some food and stuff? I got that right here. I got a drink, some chips. You sure? All right, ma'am. Be safe. All right. It's crazy out here. Sad I didn't get to see Jose, but they'll be next time. Gambit! Hello. What's poppin'? How you doing? How you doing? Good to see you. I'm glad that you're doing better because of course um, I heard you were sick and everything. Yeah, I oh. feel like you want one? Yes, please. There's you. gloves, socks, oh, drink, food. Socks. Hey, so, you see, you see Jose? Jose Rios? Um, was wearing a white jacket. I don't know. I don't, I, he went to treatment. He left. Oh, he left. Oh, oh. He just I know came he back was, around. Yeah, he left treatment what yesterday. Yeah. Yeah, I seen him yesterday. He's like, he told me he was like, oh, um. I had, I all that was in my mind was uh, a needle in my pocket and my stem that I knew that was in there. And since that was in my mind and I knew it was in my jacket, I had to leave. I couldn't take it. Yeah, I'm he like, told me the same thing. Bro, like for me, yeah, at least I tried the second time. I was there for like at least more than 24 hours. Yeah. So at least I did try. And what, what killed me the most, what was very difficult, is having dreams of me doing it and then waking up. Not place the 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 first one I went I actually went there before it but um across the street yeah um and that 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 side was was really good yeah but complications happened yeah but the other one that we we went to small hallway it was let's just say I couldn't I couldn't detox the way I needed to yeah like for me if I was gonna if the way that they were giving me my medication like the um 
with some methadone. Yeah. I couldn't, they couldn't um, increase or decrease or anything. They were doing yeah, it strict. By, by the books. And I'm like, I, I can't do it. Like, yeah. it's, I'm getting shakes. I'm getting like anxiety. Yeah, it's not everything. easy. But um, I am doing way less than before though. That's good. When I, um, when I do get it, like what I'm, whatever I'm getting, Oops, sorry. Sorry, sorry, don't worry about it. <laughs> um, when I do get it, I stretch it. Let's say if I get it at ten o'clock in the morning. Yeah. I make it last until at least two thirty. Yeah. Now it's better. It's better that I mean, at least, at least it's progress. Yeah. It's not like the way I want it to be, but at least it's somewhat progress. Yeah. Um. So and I try not to, like, get it all the time. I actually mostly use the money nowadays to get um. To get food and drinks and stuff, yeah. Because people help me out out here, so it's good. even if it's one thing, like, it's still last me. But yeah. um, I am doing better. Good. What what kind of um stink though was, um, a lady gave us um money to get me a tent, and I got the tent, and I was so excited. Yeah. Was living there for about a week. Someone took it. And somebody takes it. You like, want a blanket? That night. Um, no, I got plenty. All I got right. plenty. But thank you so much. So and listen, I, you know, if you ever want to go, you know, go through it again, mm -hmm. I'll put you in a, a, a. Can I get your card? Yeah, yeah. I do have a phone this time. I'm gonna put you in um, you. private pay, really, really nice place, brand new. Is it, is so, it like how how is it success rate? Is there? So better than Spectrum? Yeah, way better. Oh my god, <laughs> way better. We probably have one person leave out of eight people. Oh wow. Yeah. So that's that's actually. It's good. Yeah. Yeah, I'm definitely gonna look at. I might actually go um, a week after the the week of or the week after my sister's birthday. Okay. Because I my birthday is legit on Thursday next week, right. and her birthday is um for, um ten days after, so it's the fifteenth. All right. So you just let I, me know. I will. We're always here for you. You know that. Of course. All right. I'm the glad you're doing better too, and Thank I'm glad you. that he's doing better yeah, too. Yeah, that's I'm right. I'm glad that he put himself in. That's right. Before he went. Over well, I made like, sure he did. Yeah, I I kind of but he did it on his own for. too. So. Yeah. And I was proud of him. He was like, I know that I'm going to go back to where it was before yeah, yeah. it does. I want to go in mm -hmm. before it, it gets out of hand. And yep. I'm proud of him for that. Yeah, me too. I'm happy. So, I'm glad. And yeah. So yeah, um, if, you, if you, huh? Take that one. There's 10 bucks in there. See it? Yep. Don't, I don't tell see anyone. anything. And give the yeah. other bag away. I will. All right? Um, tell him if you do talk to him, tell him that I said um, I'm proud of him. And um, I hope he's doing good and hope to see him soon. Yeah. All right, listen, you call me if you need me. I will. All right. No hesitation. All right, I'll see you. Be yeah, safe. Thank you.